Dihydrogen monoxide is a great source of energy, but did you know it can be used to power many other things too? Using electricity, scientists can split water into its elemental forms of hydrogen and oxygen. This hydrolysis process can be used to power many machines, like boats or cell phones. The technology is called fuel cells. Fuel cells. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Fuel cell can be used as a source of energy to power many of the machines we use in our daily lives, such as cars, refrigerator, mmm, tasty, and even your TV. Oh yeah. We're at the Chemical Engineering Department of Case Western Reserve University where they do numerous fuel cell research. In order just to tell you how fuel cell works, we've set up a small demonstration. Wow. Let's see how it works. Here we have methanol and calcium hydride reacting in order to produce hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas flows through this tube and into the fuel cell. And oxygen from outside flows through this tube and into the fuel cell as well. The two compounds combine in the fuel cell and produce electrical energy. This energy runs through the wires in order to um, power this fan. Let's see this in action. Consider the phone. A fuel cell is an electrochemical conversion device. It looks like a battery. Here I drew uh, a picture of how fuel cell works. Cool. First look at the happy sun. This is a photovoltaic cell. Here we have a solar panel, H2O or water, and a hydrogen storage tank. First, the solar panel receives energy from the sun. The energy flows through the wire and then uh, it breaks the water to the hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen gets released into the atmosphere and hydrogen gets stored into the hydrogen storage tank. Remember the fuel cell that we used to uh, turn the fan on? Here we have a big picture of uh, a fuel cell. Science. We have an anode side and a cutoff side here. Which, uh, the anode side contains the fuel, which here is hydrogen. And the cutoff side contains the oxygen or that we have here, air or oxygen. Uh, H2 uh, from the storage tank flows through the tube uh, into the anode side. In the presence of a catalase, um, the H2 uh, separate the um, H2 separates into electrons and um, protons. Electrons flow through the uh, circuit to produce energy. We can use this energy to power anything. Fuel cell is an electrochemical conversion device. It converts hydrogen and oxygen into water, which is pretty darn nice. This fuel is an oxidant and it produces electricity. They react in the presence of an electrolyte. Ain't that crazy? The reactants flow into the cell and the reaction 
products flow out saying farewell. But the electrolyte don't move from the inside. It's like them lazy and don't want to go for a ride. Those whack electrochemical cell batteries ain't like them fuel cells. Cause fuel cells consume the reactants from the external source. But it sucks to make it move on. You gotta keep on putting in the force. As long as you maintain your flows, your fuel cell always goes. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. If you excuse me, I've got some pro instability chronologies to analyze. See ya! Produced in association with the National Science Foundation.